In this tutorial, we're going to create this stunning animation together. We'll use a free plugin that not only enhances your map animation skills, but also gives your work that extra edge to truly stand out. The tool we're using is called Saber, a free plugin from videocopilot.net. Don't worry, I've left the link below. So, if you're ready to level up your map animations, let's dive right in. First, go to videocopilot.net. Once you are in this page, depending on the system you have, you can click on download for Windows or Apple. Once downloaded, click on install and you will have it added as an effect to your after effect. To double check, go to effects and presets and look for Saber. It is a straightforward installation process. You shouldn't have any issues. Now let's choose a country to work with. I have set up my map and use Bing Arial, and I will use Morocco in this tutorial. I will draw my country and draw the borders or the stroke. Now let's isolate our stroke, apply the saber effect and see what happens. Nothing happens even after switching core type to layer masks and switching alpha mode to alpha mask. So the trick to make it work is to trace a mask of our border. Of course, we will not do it manually as it will be time consuming and we already have a tool within After Effects that will draw it for us in just a second. So why not just use it? This tool is called Auto Trace. First, we have to delete Saber effect. Select it and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now select our border, go up to layer, then go down and select Auto Trace. This window will pop up. We don't need to do anything. Just click OK. Now let's isolate it and apply Saber effect and see what happens. So far, nothing is supposed to happen. Now go to core type and select layer masks. Then go to render setting and select mask core. And now finally, we have the saber effect in our borders. We can choose any effect in the preset on the top. But before doing that, I will first get our map back, set up the map style, and then choose an amazing saber effect that will enhance the quality of our map. Nothing happens when we remove the isolation. And this is normal because we have to change the blending mode of the mask. So go to the mode in the timeline and set it for add. Now, to make sure our mask is going to follow the camera movement when we animate it, we need to anchor it to the map and make it 3D. Then it is better to pre-compose it. Sometimes, if not pre-composed, it is not moving properly with the camera. Now let's stylize our map. I will add a Triton effect and select some amazing colors. I will click and hold on to this color selector and drag it up and down to find a satisfying color for the midtones and do the same for shadows and highlights. I will go with this color for the midtones and a little darker for the shadows and see what's best for highlights. Okay, great. Now let's find a better color for Morocco. This one looks awesome to me. Now I will animate my map and fix the setting for the saber effect. This should be my final map view. I will set up the keyframes and then zoom out and change the pitch and the bearing of the map like this, and I'm going to set up my starting keyframe. Great. Now I will play with the settings for the saber effect to find the best preset that's going to work with my map. Then I will animate the stroke by putting some keyframes as well.
Go to end offset and make 0% at the beginning of the animation. Then after 5 seconds, set it up to 100%. All right, let's preview our animation. It looks awesome. We can reduce the opacity of the map. This way, the country is going to be highlighted, or we can use the levels effect or just a CC vignette to make the edges dark and draw more attention to the center of the map. Saber effect has so many presets, I suggest that you take the time to play with all of them and select the best one that would enhance the quality of your map. So play with it and create magic. Let's preview our animation one more time. Awesome! Looks fantastic! So, here you have it folks. Now you know how to make this kind of map style and animation. Congrats! This is a little advanced technique. If you struggle to follow along, just play the video again and feel free to check out all my video tutorials I have in my channel. That would help you understand the basics and the fundamentals of GeoLayer's 3 and After Effect. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this tutorial, and if there is anything missing I can add to the future tutorials, I will let you have fun with Saber Effect. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to use Saber Effect to animate paths in GeoLayer's 3, so stay tuned.